Introducing your host of the ATX FC show, Marshall Newhouse and Ali Khan. Spencer. I am feeling it. Every right week, now. your voice just gets more majestic. I'm just, I'm honored. Can you intro me like when I wake up in the morning? Because that gets my, that gets me going, man. Maybe just the whole thing. Yeah. Maybe just the whole thing. I Welcome. Need it. I need it when I walk in. Any entrance. I feel like it's like a Electric. wrestling. You know? Yeah. You know? Like it's like a wrestling intro. Like, let's be real. I've been gone. Did you miss me, Marshall? I don't know if you recognize this brown guy. This brown guy's been here, but he's it's back. True. Um, it's true. It's true. It's now a guy fest again. But no, he's been away. We're glad to have him back. Um, welcome to the show. This is our fourth episode. That's my guy, Ali Khan. Um, this is we're the ATX Greenhouse. FC show. The ATX FC show. Only at, that's the official name. Anything else is off brand, like what I just shared on Twitter. <laughs> um, we have some stuff to talk about. A lot going on. Uh, and I think it's always great to start this off with a W, but uh, a lot of W's. Uh, surrounding the Austin sports world, we, we rep we rep local local winners, local athletes, local competitors. We did. Um, who In do fact, we have? I have some breaking news. Uh, breaking news. Um, guy from wealthy suburb wins golf thing. That's just <laughs> a little joke, but seriously, Scotty Scheffler won the Masters. I'm just gonna say this. I've been to a few golf tournaments. I've played top golf. But uh, I'm I'm not the biggest golf guy. Do okay. you do you know golf? I yeah, I enjoy it. I enjoy it. I, I'm not like as deep as some people are, but I have enjoyed it. I've been playing since about 2009. Uh, you know, continually getting better and worse. But it's that it's the game that gives and <laughs> that's and, how it works. Takes. Right? Better that's and what, worse. That gets, like that. keeps you hooked. But uh, I don't know if you know the Masters. Kind of a small tournament. Just a a local Georgia. You know what tradition. I know about it. Yeah, I know about it, and everyone should look this up. The the Georgia peach ice cream sandwich. Do you Whoa, know about that thing? Straight to food. I'm here. I'm oh, hungry. Yeah. I haven't eaten lunch. I'm hungry. So apparently, so it's it, it's a signature food item uh, that is served at the Masters tournament. However, there was something that happened this year. I don't know. There weren't any peaches. I don't know how that happens. Okay. There's no peaches in Georgia. Yeah. I think Bieber took them all. The that song Masters is known for keeping their food and concessions prices the same since – Back before, oh, um, yeah, well, pimento cheesy. cheese sandwiches, a dollar fifty, two dollars. Yeah, there something you like go. That. There you go. We're off topic, but uh, shout out to Scotty Scheffler, <laughs> uh, a UT, UT Longhorn, uh, Big Twelve champion in golf. Um, he's had a hot streak. Six tournaments he's yeah. been in. The last six tournaments he's won one, not placed, not competed in. Yeah, he's won four of them, and one of those being he was here match play, which is awesome as a as a a UT guy to win Austin right. Dell match play, and then the Masters. He's on. But a hot this street. is his first Masters. This is his first Masters. He literally last week was just uh, in position as number one in the world. Yeah. And of course, the next week he wins the Masters. He's just he's on fire. Which he's is, on fire, yeah. and you know we just got to say it. Um, UT grad wins the biggest dance in golf. He gets a green jacket. You know, I got to tell you. I have a, a green jacket, not a master's jacket. Okay. I I was gifted a. Uh, oh, so you proper... didn't earn it. It's not like an earned. No, green no. Jacket. It's, it, it, I was it, getting it, ready it, for a fun story. It's so false you... in so many right. ways. Well, this is the best part. I attended a golf tournament. I'm wearing this green jacket from this very nice, apparently very nice golf club, and all these people are coming up to me, going, "Oh yeah, you you, you golf at blah blah blah," <laughs> and I'm like, "What are you talking? No, I don't, I don't. I'm just here. That's I got a how, freebie." That's how ubiquitous the master's green jacket is. Even when you're wearing an off shade and. Yeah. Yeah. Not Augusta, Georgia people automatically associate it. With, yeah. Oh, you must be a, you know around golf or something like oh, that. Oh, you know, I'll tell you something. It's green. I might rock it. Uh, maybe I'll rock it for our next show. Hey, uh, you know, if, if it's on shade, I'm, I have no problem with it. I have to ask Spencer about that. <laughs> Actually, yeah. Well, I'll, I'll 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 send a picture to Spencer. He's in charge. Speaking of, of UT golf, I mean another another uh, a, fr a friend of the show, friend of the, the squad. Good pal, of yours, right? Dylan Fratelli. Yeah. He's doing really well. He was at Valero a couple weeks ago down in San Antonio. Um, another UT golf grad doing mm. big things. All, like I said, Austin FC. We support all things Austin, local athletes, competitors. Um, so when we hear about stuff, we'll do be sure to uh, let you know as best we can. Yeah. Um, so yeah, shout out Dylan Fertelli. Shout out to Dylan. So and another rather famous I, UT. Listen, I'm grad. not a grad of UT, so talking about them this much is really I, I you know put what? me on edge. I don't know how to how to deal with this right now. Trust me, it it hurts me too a little bit. Uh, because first of all, legend, 
Vince Young was at Q2. Uh, he banged the drum. Yes. He banged the drum, That's right? our one of our initiations uh, for, you know, esteemed guests to get the crowd pumped. He's in the, the supporter group section. Yeah. Just getting them riled up. And he apparently he went after it. He had some yeah, pent-up yeah, yeah, energy. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. Was, <laughs> he was getting after the drum a little bit, which we love. You know, look, I mean, we are literally in your wheelhouse. Your wheelhouse. Okay. Pardon the pun. Hey. Pardon it. You is can it have it. Is you're, it you're, you're a dad. You're allowed. <laughs> you're a dad. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. Um, what do you think about a guy like Vince Young? Obviously, he's a quarterback who brought running into that part of the position. Uh, you blocked for quarterbacks. What, what are your feelings on a quarterback <laughs> who thinks they can outrun everything? Well, no, I was listen. I was a big Vince Young fan. I watched him, you know, coming up uh, out of high school in Houston mm. to UT. I was, yeah. I was, you know, I, it pains me to say I was a fan back then of the Burn Orange. We, you know, we burned all those pictures. There's no evidence, but you take my word for Dallas. it. Dallas, um, Dallas, over <laughs> Dallas, Dallas. Yeah. You know, Rose Bowl, uh, national championship, just a legend, all-around legend. And it's yeah, a little painful because I went to USC and I watched him run over was, my team that you, year. I can't imagine being on the opposite end of arguably one of the best college football games ever. Yeah. Um, but you got to appreciate yeah. it a little bit. But, yeah, Vince Young, Close game. local legend, um, was an incredible quarterback in college, played for a long time. Actually, we were briefly teammates in the NFL. Really? It was a short stint in Green Bay. Um, he was coming, doing like a little bit of a comeback. And yeah. We played some reps together in preseason, so that was a lot of fun. But shout out to Vince. He was yeah. – um, you could tell how excited he was when he was banging the drum. It got the crowd going. He was really into it. And I think it's just, again, support here in Austin is just kind of like no, no other. This being the first uh, professional sports team, there's a lot of stuff that's preceded it as far as, you know, people uh, legend building and, and fan engagement. And so I love that we re we're constantly reaching back, constantly reaching out. Uh, to kind of build those relationships and build those bridges. So, shout you know, out to Vincent. So, I got to tell you, because now we're just getting into it, right? We're at, let's let's talk about Sunday. So, I'll tell you this. Um, uh, you know, I've been traveling a little bit. Went along, um, so on. Been traveling a little bit, but I was back at Q2 on Sunday. Yeah. Um, obviously, what a game. Yeah. Big 1-0 win, right? That was a big win. Uh, I, I had the pleasure of of having an extra ticket and a friend of mine was visiting from out of town. Okay. Never been to an MLS game. Oh man. Never been to an MLS game. Uh obviously that obviously means first time at Q2. Uh dude was blown away. Dude was blown away. He bought a hat. <laughs> dude lives in San Diego. I mean, yeah. you know, he's he's got other options. There's yeah. other options out there in, in California, certainly with teams. Um the energy was nuts. Uh, it rubbed him in. It, it was, and it was just freaking wild. Now, I got to tell you, the last couple games I went to, we are drilling runs. You're laughing, going, ah, you're just rolling. <laughs> this was a nail biter. There were some tight rear ends in the stadium. For I'm, sure. I'm, I was saving this for later, but I'm going to start it now because he deserves a shout out to Stuver. Yeah, Stu My was God. on his game. Uh, Uruti was on his game. We yeah. needed that. That was a big point. A big goal. Uh, it was a well played match. I mean, Minnesota, they're very, you know, they very, brought it, they dude. brought it, they brought they it, but brought it this out. Is, they jumped. This is they the were... evolution of our of our squad of yeah. winning tight games, and that's you know, you, you definitely don't want to seed points at home. You don't want to, as best you can, you don't want to just take one away at home. You want to take three away as often as possible. So it was one nil, yeah. but the, the points still matter. So this is a huge win. You know, it's just it's one of those things too. And I'll always harken back to something you said when we first started doing this. You don't understand how physical this game is until you see it live. And I'll right. tell you this: you don't, you cannot appreciate one zero. I mean, I, I'll catch games on TV, whatever, right? Great too. TV is an amazing thing, but being at that game, watching that game, experiencing it, like you know, like the players obviously, look, they, they, everybody, and obviously both teams played their rears off. But I'll tell you this, the fans, yeah, the fans were this going nuts. When I brought my friend in, he got intoxicated, not just from the beer that I bought him. I'm just <laughs> kidding. I made him buy his own beer. But um. <laughs> Uh, really, you, look, man. the crowd, I know, I got him a free ticket. Come on now. Free ticket, and I gave him a ride home. But, um, you know, the crowd was so fired yeah. up, man. I'm fired up just thinking about them. Makes me want to think of a couple just important facts. Like, what's been our record at uh, home at Q2? It's been 7-1-1 one, and one over the last nine games, which is it's insane. That's a home field advantage. That's something that... Your players can get juice for that's something that 
again, new fans come and they yeah. feel right away. Um, and it's just an incredible thing. I, I hope we never take it for granted because it's, it's a unique place. Yeah. And we're positioned to really make some noise, especially, uh, you know, in the standings with, with, with home games. Right now, we're fourth in the Western Conference. Yep. Fourth place, which, yeah. you know, when you're an expansion team, you know there's a lot of bumps. You know there's a long road ahead of you. But in our second year, to be playing this fluidly and to be in contention like this in fourth place is crazy, especially – when you imagine there's just there wasn't a whole lot of expectations. I don't know if there are any specific people. Who oh, had you know what? I've got a us. hit list actually. Yeah. There were about eight MLS experts. Uh, then they all predicted Austin FC to finish the season in double digits. Um, I've got a hit list. Here we go. Let's start off with my good friend here, uh, Charles. Oh wait, you know what? Let's let's take the high road. I think we're above that. I think our fan base is above that. We've got, listen, we've got tacos in the stadium we have tacos. class. We've got beer and drinks and libations in the stadium class. Uh, we're just, we're better than that. They let them write their articles, and we'll just continue <laughs> to get better, and we'll progress on the field. How about that? You know, I, I'll give you this. I'll give you this, because I like to uh, <clears throat> pick up the pen from time to time. Um, let's give them the opportunity to maybe revisit some of their predictions there will there'll be, there'll be some crow eating, and you know yeah. we'll, we'll we'll stay in our in our spot. We'll keep encouraging the guys, yeah, and we'll keep playing. And when all is said and done, we'll see see how how these preseason predictions came. Yeah, all of these you know, um, soothsaying soothsayers. Yeah, and, and all their you know what? Let's just let the facts speak for themselves. We're fourth right now. I mean. I think number one is, I think it's LAFC, okay. then Galaxy, then uh, I believe Real I don't want to misquote. Salt Lake. I know, okay. you know, please, please have a second. But again, long season, bucks. but still, I mean, just from, you can see this, the class of play. It's, and and it's class evident. of teams, we're doing class, good. Yeah, it's We evident, are doing so. good, and I'll say this, just coming fresh off that nail-biter win, shout out to all you guys. Um, the atmosphere, the fans, the spirit, that I just saw on Sunday, it's just completely awesome. Completely awesome. It's so great to see, like, it's like we just started. You yeah, know what I mean? Absolutely. Everyone's just crushing. And I, you know what? You know the players appreciate it, too. For sure. They talk over. about it. Wait. Oh, man. You know, uh, I heard about this. I've been gone. What the heck? Interruption. Oh! oh! Hey, we're, we're filming. Oh! This is live oh, right whoa, now. Whoa, I don't know whoa, if you whoa. know. Whoa, no, whoa, folks. Whoa. I got, I got an alley cat. No yeah, way. No, got we've got a special guest. Get in here. I got a Get in here. I got a Marshall. We saw friend doing, Adrian guys? Healy, <laughs> oh voice my God. of the wow. of the Bear Day. Wow. Wow. All you the guys. way from the other side of the pond. <laughs> you know How do you what? do it? How do you do it? <laughs> You Are you tired? That's a long flight. How'd you get the here? The Hyperloop. The yeah. Hyperloop. Okay, nice. I, I had Elon Musk build that Hyperloop. What'd you get in the middle he said, here? He said he was going, he said he was going to LA. Middle. It's it, true. He's actually done one to London. It's true. The hey, only Musk This guy. Musk I don't know if you know who this guy is. You know, the but voice. with this both awesome. of you, yeah. last time I saw both of you, I was eating <laughs> fine food. With this guy, okay. yeah, a yeah. burger. Yeah, yeah. A burger, salt and thyme. Yeah. Alley counts. All right. With this guy. Yeah. Barbecue in the hill yes. country, hill country barbecue. Yeah, you can't beat it. So, uh, well, how, how, how have you enjoyed yourself so far oh in my Texas? Goodness. My goodness. Honestly, yeah. just hearing life. him, I just want to sit back and be like, "All right, what's happening to this game?" <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, "What is going on?" The voice of Austin FC. Did you like Sunday night? Sunday night was just yeah, like we, one it was of those. we were just talking Ooh, about it. Um, I was yeah. exhausted. Yeah, oh, it That's, was like one of those grit your teeth, grit your teeth, get through it. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Get the three points. The three points. That's just all that matters. Sweet. It's the sort of win we couldn't come up with last year. Just, we were just talking about yeah, that. Yeah. It's just, we're a different team, gritty. Um, this is a team that knows how to. That's learning how to win. Yeah. But like we're in contention. These are the yeah. games that yeah. um, will matter when we're at the. You know, at the end of the season, we're getting ready for playoffs. This yeah. is kind of the games we look back and I'm like, oh, one nil wins. One nil wins. They're I a thing of beauty. Tell me, they are it. a yeah. thing of beauty. Absolutely. I feel like I held my breath for like because I knew there was like extra time. I want to say like yeah. maybe. Seven oh, nine minutes six, when they held up six minutes. Oh, yeah, that was like oh. Yeah. oh, and I was like, we're getting into the eighties, and I was just like, just just kind of like mentally <laughs> yeah. focused. I think I held my breath for like fifteen minutes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. no, it was awesome. Though. awesome. So what? what As what's you stood said, out? We, we now got a we now got a home. We got a fortress. Yeah. We got a home Dude, field yeah. advantage. So what's yeah. what stood out from to you from the game? As far as yeah, a, I know. A couple Bring players, your expertise. A couple Teach prime players. Things. I know. We'll save most of it for the Verde and Black podcast. Yeah, get that. Yeah, 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 right. Yeah. Oh. There's nothing nothing um, formal about this. What stood out to me? I thought Danny. Pereira had his best game. Okay, you know, and, and and he's been 
going like this. We've yes, he seen, has. We've all seen his progress. He's elevating for sure. To me, this was his best game yet. And to me, also the defense, the center of defense looked superb. Yes. I think that's our yes. that's our combo. Gabriel Tell me Cern about Minnesota and, like, and Julio how, Cascante. How I mean, how would you rank Minnesota from what I saw? And you know, I'm very new to MLS, right? As soon as the game started, those guys were rocking like oh yeah putting a they, lot they, of they, minutes on offense they come to play That's yeah they do you, are you, they you more of a possession that. team or they they take they take the back seat as far as possession right? yeah absolutely but they the they, physicality they can hit you on the break yes. they, they they pack it in deep uh but we didn't let them transition i actually thought we we played them really well we yeah. restricted them their chances to just a just a couple of kind especially of with chances. with with Cecilio out. Yeah, I mean that's that's definitely been a hole. But like we listen, we're building depth right before our eyes. There's these going to be big minutes for these guys. And that's that's a good team we we, yes. we just beat. You Absolutely. know, they're they're yeah. a team that have made the playoffs three years in a row in the West. They they came in like we did, but five years ago and struggled with the first two years. They've been they've been at the top of the Western Conference. I love it. I love so it. How do you so feel right in. now? We were just talking, telling everybody, you know, we're fourth right now. Like I feel like it's a strong. That's pretty good when you think about the teams that are just sitting a little if bit above have, us, right? If you'd have offered this at the start of the season before right. we kicked a ball, everyone would have taken it. Oh, bet right. man, for to sure. To be right there. 100%. We're only two points off the lead. 100%. Yeah. Six games in, and, and that's a meaningful chunk of the season. And, I, you know, my NFL background, you kind of feel sometimes years in conferences, there's strengths and weaknesses yep. that kind of teeters. Western Conference this year, yep. as far as the class of the MLS, stronger, weaker? Like, is there a way mm. to judge that yet? It's weird, isn't it? It's like, I, I, I tweeted about this yesterday. All the teams that made the playoffs last year mm -hmm. are all outside of the playoffs. That's unreal. Mm. All of them. Yeah. Like, the three Texas teams, the three uh, California teams, other than San Jose, those five teams yeah. are all in the playoffs. They all missed the playoffs last That's crazy. year. That's so crazy. So it's upside down. It's, right. yeah, it's going to level out over the course of the Sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Games, we talk about marathons, not sprints, but these are, but these are I think, incredible. I think we've improved, but so have I yeah, think the two LA teams. The two I know you know Texas Spencer. Teams. Spencer. Yeah. I think, I think, I, <laughs> well, again, I think you're late yeah, for yeah, your yeah, yeah, show. Yeah. We're going to save it. We're going to save it for the very damn block. You guys are doing a friggin' amazing job. No, we appreciate it. We're taking out the Absolutely amazing. We're just we're just enjoying the atmosphere. I'm a sponge. I just. <laughs> off the other town, you know? we, are, we are lucky to have you both. I appreciate it. So, uh, Folks, keep, keep, Adrian Healy. Keep, keep up the good work. Absolutely. And we need to eat again soon. Yeah, absolutely. I know. You don't I, long, you don't I can't to go too long without eating. To be honest, I that. just got a little hungry <laughs> thinking yeah. about that amazing burger. See you guys. Time. We appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you, sir. Dude, that the guy man. all day. Yeah, the man. He is. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to get my hopes up, but it, we're getting surprises from some top-notch people in the organization. So, yeah. you guys got to tell your friends to tune in because you never know who's going to pop in that door. Um, they get they knock pretty loud, so there's no subtlety about it. But when yeah. they get here, it's electric. This guy right here, his voice, he you know he's got such that that soccer voice. Um, you, you, you just know. expect it. Yeah. You just expect it. Um, as as I like really dove into, um, just learning as much as I can about the team. Like, yeah, it was that voice, man. Like I just crank open Spotify and just listen to him talking about the seasons yep. and stuff like that. Yep. It's just, he really is like the voice. He's gotten me in there. I mean, when he rolls up, I was just like, yeah. dude, hit me, dude. Yeah. Tell me some stuff. You know, when we talked about Austin FC and we're, when the team was forming and all the you know, people were being hired and this is being made about the feel of the stadium, um, how, you know, from colors to chants and all that stuff, hiring a guy like him yeah. to be the voice of your play-by-play. -play, right. I mean, that's like, you know, digging up a diamond I mean, yeah. We, you know. yeah and also like a diamond i think that is he's he's had a real impact with ms mls yes, as a whole for sure you know he's um legend, absolutely so we appreciate it again adrian for dropping in uh, last week we had coach wolf this week Adrian, who knows what we'll have next week well, wolf, you, you guys got to you guys got to tune in i'm yeah. telling you, you never know what you're gonna miss um who, what we're gonna talk about who we're gonna see um so yeah and again please be active in the chat uh, if you have any questions we you know it was a little late for Adrian. He's not going to do a live Q&A, but we can re re relay him to him. I, uh, I, you know, speaking of the chat, I just have to jump in here. Uh, CD Changer 5, Q2 equals Fortress. You know, not going to lie. That, that was like in our in our notes. They're like, oh, mention Q2 being a Fortress. It really is. Yeah. It really is. I was watching a game uh, when they were playing San Jose, right? Northern California, yeah. Bay Area, pretty populous area. Yeah. Dude, you know that stadium? They were looking, you know, we'll be up for a second. Yeah, a little, a little yeah. spotty. Yeah. And I'm like, you go to Q2, it's like we are feeling it. Packed in, uh, electric atmosphere, uh, supporter groups going the whole time. Oh, I love you, this. George Gibbs, feel. best environment in the league. I, I don't. I, I honestly don't think that's hyperbole. I think that's yeah. a, a legit thing. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, teams that come here, 
they walk, they leave walking away with this kind of impact. And the players talk. I mean, I was a professional football player. We talked about uh, opposing yeah. field uh, advantages, disadvantages. Like, was it the you know was it the the drive to the stadium? Was it the actual locker room? We talked about all that stuff. So, uh, inevitably, if we keep rocking like this, it's just it's league wide. They understand when you come here, we're going to give you a, a match on on the pitch. And then our fans are going to be into it. You're going to have a great environment. It's going to play. You know, so. it's interesting. I mean, all sports are exhausting, right? But to me, soccer, it's such a physical drain. I mean, when you sub out, you're done. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. you're try as a player, you're trying to be in there as long as you can. It's got to create such an advantage just to have that kind of like beat, that yeah. kind of constant. Like we don't let up. We don't let up in There's the stands. There's just a, 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 you know? a natural flowing energy, and uh, I can say from experience, we feed off of that stuff. Whether you, whether you, it's something that you actively seek out or not. When you get yeah. in there, it's it's unless you're a human devoid of emotions, you're you're gonna feed off of the energy, whether it's good or bad. And uh, Q2 again, we're on our way to being a fortress, or we're not. I feel already, like at this it, point, I mean, a I need to go, you know, check out some other stadiums just to kind of see sure, what the sure, deal sure. is, right? Um, but now I'm like, do I have to like go to like? I feel like I gotta go to England. We've yeah, we talked about that off camera. People get all of fired just, up of just you know, we're, we're, there's a different class of the <laughs> the traditional stadiums, Old Trafford and and Wembley and and you know Camp Nou, all that stuff. They're historic. Uh, they're there for a reason. A lot of them hold a hundred thousand people. It's kind of a yeah, different, it's a different yeah, setup. Yeah, we're yeah, we're at yeah. twenty, a little over twenty k. Sure. But this stadium well, wow, twenty k though. This stadium was built with intention. It was built yeah. for. There's not a bad seat in the house, and it's built for, you know, enjoyment for the fans, but, like, a, a stadium that can really vibrate, if you will, yeah. and, and be electric. So, Dude, I, listen, so I feel good. bad for some of the MLS teams. They, you know, God bless them, but they're having they're playing in NFL stadiums and not necessarily, uh, yeah, you know, they're very the spread out. Not you know, But, you know, we're not knocking any stadium, but I think that just shows how class uh, Q2 is. And so yeah. we're looking forward to, to uh, more venues, uh, should Speaking, we talk about well, let's, the, let's, uh, the new class, if you will? Yeah, right? let's, we could talk about the new class for yeah. sure. Um, uh, part of MLS's you know efforts, especially with expansion teams, it, you know we've got to cultivate here in America. The question always is when it comes World Cup time, Olympics time. You know what's what's up with the, the U.S. Yeah, names, why don't we have our the same talent? Kind of talent. Well, part talent. of that is academies. You you got to realize uh, to get to the level that professional level, that top tier, that takes decades of hard work diligent structure it takes new generations it takes new generations and what do you do with that you send them you recruit them you uh, train them you get them in academies and so the mls has done a great job building out infrastructure of academies austin fc is no different we have our own academy here um with uh 15 and under and 17 and under and there were some I think big a 21 wins, and under. right these guys are doing so well it's you know it's not always reflective of the the, the actual the top team but it's a good sign when your young guys that are in your pipeline are getting better and they're winning games. Not only are they winning games, they're winning games against clubs, international clubs, yeah. mind you. So with, under with 15s high, had a big high big reputation, win, right? Yeah, absolutely. Under 15s beat Celtic out of Scotland. Um, they've they've been around for for years. So that's a uh, uh, an academy in Scotland. Well, right? that's a, that's and a professional club, and they they the themselves club. have an academy. Have, so, have an academy. Well, you got to think MLS as far as the structure from an academy standpoint. We're call it a a, a, a century behind. I I would argue about wow. a century behind. Wow. If you think about you know Manchester City, uh, Manchester United, all the teams in La Liga, all the teams in Bundesliga, mm -hmm. they've had. Systems in place where they find uh, athletes when forever they're for 10, decades and decades, 10, 11, decades. 12 years old. Yeah, they put them in academies. They're getting nutrition. They're getting training. They're yeah. playing against the best, and that translates into players eventually become Mueller's of the world, become Messi's of the world. Right, and so they have a jump start. But we are definitely have something built that is built to last. It's and happening. I think is gaining momentum. So that speaks to kind of the thing that Austin FC is trying to do amid the MLS. So yeah, The, are, are, the under-17s beat Santos Laguna. Yeah, Tell they're, me about that they're in Mexico. I mean, a, a very class, historic organization. And so, yeah, these, you know, listen, they the games matter to them. It's more about the competition. It's more about our players playing against the best right. and getting better for long haul. Because eventually, these guys are going to get called up, whether they're to us, up to the MLS, or whether they're, we, they get loaned out to teams across yeah. the, the world. 
or if they're homegrown guys, they're playing on our national team. Um, speaking of that, Irvin Torres yeah. got called to the national team. Um, we've got, we're going to have more and more guys as they continue to get better and play against each other, play against the best, that people reach back to MLS, to Austin FC's academy specifically, to find talent. And that's the end goal. That is, if you are a soccer fan in America, and if you want to see soccer continue to grow and get and get stronger here in the United States, um, this is the route to it. And so they got something. It'll it'll it's a long process. It's going to continue to get better, but we have something in place that that matters. Um, so a shout out. I'm probably a go shout for out it. deserving to Tyson Wall. Yeah, the coaches, the, the coach whole coaching there. staff. They're putting an effort. You know, they're again they're 15, uh, 15 under, 17 under, 21 under. They're not getting huge fans. They're playing because these guys want to get better. They're hungry. They want to be professionals. I remember, you know, my route is different because football is structured differently. But mm -hmm. I played. We had high school. We had. I went to college and played in college. And then you got to the NFL. The, this system here is a little different, and it's okay because honestly, they're getting more attention when it comes to the sport. And so you you would hope their development will continue to accelerate. Um, you know what? It could be. I know we're in Texas. Yeah. Football's a big deal. But, you know, there could be a new Friday Night Lights. I may that, pitch this I'm gonna series. I'm going to stop you right I'm going to pitch that series. A new Friday right Night there. Lights. Oh, you'll see. Well, well you listen. know what? Here's some things. There might be some more news. More exciting yeah, news we'll, from we'll, Academy coming later this week. Stay so tuned. Stay tuned on that. Uh, stay subscribe tuned to all the shows on the uh, Austin FC Network, uh, Verde and Black, uh, on down the line. Uh, that news could be coming out in, imminently this week. Um, so stay tuned on that for sure. Marshall, do you hear that? What's that? The I, birds. No, the I birds hear people are lining singing. up outside because oh, you, you tried to you tried to say that there's gonna be a new Friday Night Lights in a, <laughs> in a football state. In a football state, <laughs> this guy has no regard for his his physical well being. It's a new football. Hey, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> the emperor wears new clothes. No. You're in a new football world too, know, my know, friend. Come on, telling me but, about Scotland. But continue. And all this you said stuff. you heard you heard some. Yeah, the the birds are singing. A little chirping. The the flowers are blooming. What does that say? I think spring. Has sprung. That's what happens when you host a baking show themed around spring. Oh, you yeah. have you have a lot of puns. That's on the mind for it's sure. It's springtime in Austin. Yeah. What do you do now that it's warm out? And now let's face it, it's full on <laughs> hot out now. Oh, it's not hot yet, you but I mean this is this is just an incredible time of year in Austin. Uh, you've got just perfect weather days. What you're gonna see, you're gonna see Zilker full of blankets, picnics, yep. frisbees, volleyballs, footballs, kites. I mean, it's just an incredible scene when you go out there. Um, people on trails, uh, people in Lady Bird Lake paddleboarding. You see that full every weekend. Uh, people, you know, do kayaking. You do, that? do you do the paddleboarding? I'm not. A, I, I, listen, I got. I was built to run. I got a high center of gravity. I'm, you're not gonna catch me on a paddleboard. You know, we're not gonna I'm get Marshall on a boat. I'm a little too big. Marshall's I, not gonna get on I, a boat. I, I stick to where I stick to where I'm comfortable. And, I understand. Yeah, but I understand. I love crossing the bridge over Lady Bird, and you seeing it full of it people is the best. enjoying their weekends, enjoying their days. Um, it's just what makes Austin great. When the weather's this nice out, people just are outside. It's an active city. Um, it's an incredible place. You, I have friends, and, and I know people who you wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning, they go take a dip in Barton Springs. How many major yeah. cities can you say there's a naturally uh, fed spring mm -hmm. pool that you can have access to as, a, as a, a resident of the city and just go jump in in the morning, jump in after lunch, jump in. They have night swims. It thing's freezing. It's cold. You know, it's cold. What, what better it is to free off on a, on a hot Texas day than Bart Springs? It's just naturally beautiful. Um, it's huge. I mean, it's a lot of fun. So, listen, we along um, among the myriad of things that there are to do in Austin, getting outside, outdoors, being active spring. is at the top. I Spring's mean, when the happening. weather's this nice, you can't. Uh, it's a, it's a failure if you don't get outside and just take your dog or yourself or your signet over on a walk and just you know enjoy the scenery. We've you got know, green belts woven. I mean, it's just an incredible scene. Like the green, you know, it's funny. Is it, there's a there's almost it's almost like a almost granola esque culture. You know, Whoa, people want to get their bikes out. <laughs> they want to like yeah. You know, I feel like REI is probably doing good numbers right now. <laughs> you know, um, you know, spring also a new. Spring uh, sports starts up now. Baseball, you baseball ever, uh, opening go day just up happened. to uh, Round Rock Express. I have, I've, a game? I've, I've seen the Round Rock Express play; it's really fun. Uh, yeah. If you want to go see a minor league game, take the kids out, get yeah. a hot dog, enjoy it's some good. entertainment. Uh, that's great. But yeah, opening day just started. MLB they figured out their labor dispute, so now they're back. Baseball's um, baseball, back. Baseball's baseball back. Baseball is back. You know, we've got you know uh, chances to go see some incredible teams play. Um, now. Uh, we're talking about baseball. Okay. We're talking about baseball. And I happen to know a football player that is channeling 
Bo Jackson, a football player that's channeling Deion Sanders. Man. You Who? play baseball. Me? Yeah. Tell me about it. Tell the people the secret, about it. The secret's out. Um, I, I grew up playing baseball. It was, it was one of the first games other than football that I grew to love. And okay. I played it deep. I went deep. It was a lot of fun. It was a big part of my childhood, traveling with parents, friends, all over the country. It was it was fun, but it was competitive. All I, over I, the country? I, yeah. We I played in New Jersey and Colorado and California and Florida. Did you think about being a professional baseball yeah, there Yeah, there was definitely thoughts in my mind of, of making it to the major leagues. It, I stopped playing when I was about 15, but okay. well, from the time I was about six or seven to then, it was it was basically half the year was football, half the year was baseball. And so that was a big Fun. Follow us on Instagram, Austin, Austin, Austin Moon Towers. But, again, the whole league. Come support the league. It's a lot of fun. It's a great – bring your kids out, bring your uh, family out. You're a great pitcher, your dad said. Was I? Yeah, that's what he said. I mean, I appreciate it. That's what he it. said. I told, you know, you start doing enough bench press for football, i got to move people around. You lose a little bit of that that arm elasticity, but sure. I, can, I can still throw it. Oh yeah, I can still throw it. Absolutely. Did you have a was there a particular pitch that you like? Were you, do you I was just like uh, to throw heat. I like to cut. I mean, it's just a cut, a cut fastball. I think if you put enough movement on, it, you can you can locate it. Okay, you can go in and out with it, and you yeah. can still have some speed on it. So that was my probably my favorite. I, I learned from some of the best, man. It was it was a lot of fun. Bo Jack. Some some skills that translated over to football. Um, just and just comp- just competition. I competed my entire life. I feel Thanks like I need to address that. something um, in here. Oh, I, yeah, I'm sorry. It's the, uh, the the chat beckons me, and I'd like to get your opinion on this. Yeah. Someone just asked me. Oh, your dad asked. Best burger in Austin. Best burger in Austin. Do you Austin. have any thoughts on that? Do you have a best burger? Let me think about it, because there, there are some. I assume that you're a Whataburger them. guy. You're a Texas. Oh, we're talking, we're talking just like fast food. Oh, whatever. I, I, we're just talking burgers. Best burger. Whatever's best um, to you. Don't impress me. Don't feel there's any pressure about impressing me no, about no, I what think, you're going to say. I think. I think. I, I'll leave the the fast food wars to the to the internet people. <laughs> yeah, it's true. But I think my my local favorite uh, it's a place called Bad Larry. Um, oh they're yeah, pop-ups. it's excellent, dude. Uh, yeah, they're doing pop ups. Uh, they do they do excellent. smash burgers on the griddle. Excellent, friend. fresh. Uh, it's awesome. You know, pretty simple though. You just know, marsh potato roll, cheese burger, and you're Some like, of the best burgers. but you're in heaven. It's just Some of the best burgers. burgers. Absolutely. So appreciate um, that. All right. So what? Any other Someone said things? in the chat, "Springtime is awesome allergies." Agree. Yeah, it's true. If you're not even okay, here's the thing. I, I if you're from here, you know because I think no matter yeah. what, even if you're an allergy person or not, you live here long enough, your body's eventually like you succumb to it because mm-hmm. every time you open a door, there's lime green pollen there's getting blown so in your much face. Pollen. Like there's, it's inside my car. I, I think I think literally happens. think the cedar has like it's. It's its own entity. It like it. It, it you know. It has a life of its own, me. and it just crushes people. I want to ask the guys in the chat. Um, what do you guys do? How do you? Do you have any tricks? For, I have not figured out a trick allergies? yet. I, it hasn't been. It hadn't hit me hard enough to need a trick. But oh, really? I can. I can imagine days because I'm gonna be a long. I'm an Austin long time uh, fan. I'm gonna be here a while. I imagine there's gonna come a point where I'm like, someone save me because I've seen people who's. It looks. Let's call it cedar fever for a reason. Their yeah, eyes swell up. It's bad. Uh, it the face get gets puffy. You're like, I, I don't want to be that at all. So there's got to be some remedies yeah. out there. It, uh, please let us know in the chat. I'll save that in my phone for later. Um, but yeah, Austin, lots of good things in the spring. Allergies is unfortunate. Concerts uh, is one of them too. Concerts too. Austin again, live music capital of the world. But uh, Austin, we're getting in the ballroom. We've got like, old venues that are being recovering from COVID, mm-hmm. and then some new venues, including yeah. our very own Q2. So, yeah, uh, it's so funny. Literally the other day, like last night. Yeah. Last night I got a text from my editor. So I write uh, some food stories on, on Texas Highways Magazine. Yeah. My editor texted me. He knows I go to Q2 a lot. Okay. And he texted me and he goes, where's the best place to sit? I thought he was talking about soccer. I thought he was talking about soccer. Sure, sure. He sends me this map layout, you know, and uh, here, I'll show you. I'll show you. I have it right here. <laughs> this isn't, I'm not making this stuff yeah. up just to tell a fun story. Okay. Where are you, Hawinski? I can't. Oh, of the stadium? It. Oh, yeah. Okay. So he sends me this, and what he's showing me. Oh, the best seats in the house for concerts. The Willie Nelson show. Picnic. Legend. Legend. Do you Upcoming. know about that? I, I just found out about it, yeah. and it makes perfect sense. It'll be the first. Yeah. Live concert in Q2 Stadium. How about that? Like, actually, like, in, in the stadium. In the stadium. We're going to see every, like, the, again, I talk a lot about, you know, there's probably some engineers who are, like, loving me. I'm talking about the intentionality <laughs> with which the stadium was built. Yeah. It was built to be a multifunctional event space. Right. 
uh, there are lights here designated for concerts. So mm -hmm. they're going to roll out the stage. Our guy Willie Nelson's going to show up. He's going to be, you know, it's Willie. He's going to be. I mean, it's Willie floating Willie's as, coming. as we probably can assume. But the lineup, we'll open it up. We'll get the lineup yeah, get here. Get the lineup in there um, too, because it's a Willie big... Nelson and family. Uh, uh -huh. Jason Isbell in the 400 unit, solid, really? solid. Uh, Tyler Child, these guys are at the top. These are guys, you, you call it country, you can call it kind of country rock, red okay, dirt country, Texas country, uh, whether from Texas or not. These guys are at the top of the top of the league. You know, I got to tell you, Charlie Cross, guy, I don't know this stuff. Shout out to tell my guy, shout stuff. out to my guy, uh, Duddy, with Midland. Midland's coming. They're a Texas band. Okay. Um, Charlie Cross. So Crockett. this is like all straight country? It's it's mostly yeah it looks it's country but it's Actually, kind of what am I saying? if you consider Willie Nelson country it's that style well that's what will. I didn't know someone can correct me but it's that style and but it's, I will it's say not... this I asked him if it was country there's a band called the Sleep at the Wheel yeah clearly it's some country yeah music. I think so. that is amazing they're they're well known here in Texas too that's it's just amazing. a lot of people I think it's going to be an incredible time um, get your tickets if you haven't I don't know if they're sold out or not are you gonna go Should uh, we try and get I there? think I'm gonna be out of town I'd You're love to town. see it. I would love to see it but again we're gonna see Q2 at its finest uh, with a concert venue. Do you have any concerts coming up that you're excited about? No, I just went to uh, one at Moody Amphitheater outside, uh, Boney Vare, which was a lot of fun with uh -huh. some friends. Acoustics were incredible. The weather's beautiful. I mean, Austin, as far as music I venues. I got a show coming. We're, I mean, I'm it's just seeing. top notch. It's, 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 we so, have a reputation for a reason. Um, full, so. You know what? I'd love to. Let's put this out in the chat, guys, because it is concert season. The weather's coming out. Things just seem kind of chill all around. If there are any concerts you're excited Please about, let us know. Hit us in the chat. I We're music fans. We're music I am fans seeing sure. a band. My wife is great because she actually um, she does all the work. She okay. does everything. She I, I get that. I get the sense anything. of uh, who wears the pants in the household. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, she wears a pants suit. Those <laughs> things are back now, apparently. Uh, we're gonna see the Bleachers. Okay. Uh, at some point, real. I love that band. Yeah. Uh, what does it sound like? What, what kind of so, uh, I, oh, I'm going to butcher his last name. Jack Abernoff. He's a producer. Okay. He was in the band Fun. Oh, yeah. Um, he, they, he, they, they split up, right? He, they split quick, up. Right. He's, got, he's had a load of stuff. But he's, like, written, like, hit songs for, like, uh, loads So he's he's people. He's been in the business still. Just, he's a force, got dude. You. The got Bleachers you. is Very rad. Cool. It's, you cool. know what? He did a great throwback song. Uh, he wrote because he, he's he's a songwriter. Sure. He's written songs for like Taylor Swift, all these people. He did this song uh, for Bruce Springsteen. Yeah, and it's mostly him, and then Bruce comes in, and it's the video is him, the boss, just being geeking out. And he's from Jersey as okay, well, gotcha. and he's like geeking out, like you know, wearing a jean jacket, pretending to be Bruce Springsteen, like in his bedroom. Yeah, and then Bruce shows up into the song. Oh man, dude, it is that's a treat. It is. Uh, it's. it's I gotta one check of my them out. Bleacher is all the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Where they're they, coming what, what Austin too. Well, do you know what venue that Let's, is? I'm, I'm on Seat Geek right now. Okay. You know. Well, um, check it. Uh, search them out. Uh, check them out. Stubbs, it's, baby. Oh, this is Stubbs. There they're you go. going to my Stubbs. Favorite, my favorite venue in town. Oh, um, real soon in May. Again, Austin in the spring. Uh, get outside. Get your yeah. butt outside. There's no excuse. There's something to do for everybody. For kids, come to the game. We're gonna have more home games. Yeah. You got to see a competitive team. We got concerts. We got the outdoors. We got golf. Uh, Butler Pitch Putt, which we wanted to mention earlier, a quick little golf outing um, south of the river. Uh, just so much to do. Austin's an outdoor. It's an active city. So get out there. Adventure a little bit. I, don't sit here watching us all day. Yeah, come I'm watch jumping, us. I'm Tell your friends. But eventually you got to get outside, you know? Uh, I'm jumping into the chat real quick. Um, a, a special request. Uh, Marshall, can you talk about your time in the Horticulture Society, what? the Japanese club in high school? Oh, someone think... scrolling my uh, my Wikipedia. Someone, yeah. said, uh, maybe I was just assuming it's a blast <laughs> from the past. Um, you know what? It's a long and short story. It's the long story is we all, you know, we're, you're getting out of high school. People tell you you got to start doing extracurriculars, right? Boost yeah. your resume for oh, college yeah. application. Oh, yeah. So I'm oh, like, yeah. we had club day in high school. So it's one day at the beginning of the school year where. You sign up for clubs, or you see if there's clubs you're interested in, stuff that you think might just like, you know, help you with your resume. Mm -hmm. I, I was in football, which is my most of my job, and then in other classes. But there were two that I was like, I'm vaguely interested in both of those. Literally went to one meeting per club and got to put it on my. <laughs> this was your Rushmore moment. Yeah, it this was, was just, your Rushmore moment. So, and then of course I get to the NFL. I get to the place where you know someone makes a public Wikipedia profile of me, and what do they do? They scrub. 
my profile. It was worth it in the long run. It's fo- literally followed renaissance. me. Renaissance. You're a renaissance man. I'll take that. I am. You're a renaissance I, you know, man. I, I like amazing. a lot of things, but it's literally followed me all this time. I, I there's no too. there's no weird background story. I like plants as much as the next person. I really actually do enjoy Japanese culture, so it is what it is. But <laughs> I like plants as much as it. Exactly. This is as long the as they don't make me break of out. a man who joined the horticulture society. There you go. That's it. <laughs> I just had to be honest with it. This is me I'm exposing. Right now. You know, I'm, I'm being a little vulnerable with. I'm you, dying right now. Well, I look. I, I've got a a club that I kind of slipped into. Oh, yeah, I remember that? I did model UN. Okay. Now here's the thing about doing model. What's the difference UN. between that and like debate? Are those intertwined? A well, little bit? you know, it's like yeah, there's debate club, but like you're guaranteed to be you know up at bat, right? right. So my strategy for model UN was uh, I I picked Burkina Faso, a small country in yeah, Africa, so I didn't have Not to get involved. Not many people have heard of it, but I, yeah, because I knew I wouldn't be in the Security Council. Smart. If anything happened, I was like, just what you're hearing from both back. of us is how to game parts of the system, and that with things that we did when we were young, we it, all did them. It's like Rushmore, yeah, literally just like yeah. Rushmore. So, Amazing. No shame in it. No I like here. plants. Just as much as the next guy. So we talked it's about amazing. we talked about Austin in the spring, oh. um, but guess what? We still have a season to go. Yeah, we do. We have a team here who's gaining momentum. They're playing good ball. Um, what, what's next on the docket for them? You know, I we got well. First of all, we got we got uh, DC DC United is DC coming United. up. DC United, okay. DC United is coming up. We're going and, out to the East Coast. And this is, you know, and, and, you know, when we do come back, so we got DC United. Yeah. Right. Uh, and then, uh, ooh, how about this? Let's get into some of the standings. Where's San Jose right now? Oh, I feel like you're going to tell me. I, I think they're, yeah. oh, they're down 10th. Yeah, they're the a little east. low. Oh, no, you low. like to take the high road. Yeah, excuse me. Sorry, yeah, I, I, I ruined all I that. I can be petty, but I, I, I pick and choose my moments. No, he's classy. I'm bitter. I don't know. <laughs> Vince Young earned it this is this USC. is austin's uh, first trip to dc so it'll be a fun game yeah um if you're a supporter uh watch them i think they're playing saturday mm-hmm. 6 30 central we haven't figured away out game a, away game what what's do you the do for Spence? away games what's the oh. uh what's the network just get we can give them a little heads up where can they right. find the game on saturday the app i was watching the app uh, well, well, Spencer consults um, you know, our friends over at Google and yeah. whatever. Or I think he uses Bing. <laughs> Some of the younger guys use Bing. He actually has a whole Encyclopedia Britannica on the wall that he goes through. Like, oh, yeah. Like, Gen Z is yeah. actually reverted. I just, dated, I just dated myself. Spencer's. ESPN Plus, ESPN Plus nice. Saturday, 630 Central, Austin FC at DC United. Oh, DC is 10th in the yeah, East. Yeah, yeah. So DC is 10th in the East. We're so good. We should feel confident. Yes. Yeah. What do you think? I, I mean, a, there's no reason. There's no reason not to. But okay. again, I, 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 I like to be excited and have and have you know, you know, a lot of positive emotion and positive energy, but keep things in perspective. We don't write teams off. These no, are professional and this sports is a, players. It's a, long, yeah, yeah. it's a long season, and yeah. these away games are, are a little bit harder. Yeah, there's travel involved. There's a new environment, which again, the first time the clubs in D.C. Um, and yeah, we don't take anyone lightly. We're still building for something bigger than these the games right now. So we're coming away with points is the goal, um, one or three, preferably three, and we're continuing to try to get better. I think Coach Wolf, who was here last week, you know he speaks to the nature of this team. So what uh, they're, was it like? You had Wolf here. Yeah, he was he was here. He popped in on um, on Brittany and I, and uh, you know he was talking about San Jose. We have a little mini rivalry brewing with yeah. them, but just his overall kind of approach to coaching the team. We want aggressive guys. We want physical players, mm-hmm. and we play a, a physical, aggressive style of, of soccer. And so I, I imagine we're going to continue to build on that. It's a work in progress. We're moving pieces around a little bit. He's figuring out substitutions late in the game. Mm-hmm. Guys are figuring out their roles within the system. And this is a game, again, just like you take them all the same. We're still – we haven't done anything yet. We're fourth in the standings, but to me that doesn't matter. It's a long season. Yeah. And, again, you guys want more in-depth stuff. Please tune in to the other podcast. Adrian Healy is going to bring it to you. Michael Lahoo is going to bring it to you. Yeah. Um, we, we do we do our best. We have limited, you know, ex- experience. But I can tell you what I see from a athlete's perspective. But, again, I think we're heading in the right direction. So Yeah, I mean, it's exciting. It, I think the team is going well. The games are as fun as can be. Absolutely. You know, I'm kind of curious, and I'd love to get this on the chat, too, what uh, everyone does – uh, for away games, because obviously you know where, where, where. I mean, do you watch them at home? Is there a place yeah, you been, like to go? Yeah, it's been it's been varied. I haven't. I don't have a, a set uh, schedule yet, but I mean, 
Austin's got no shortage of, of amazing uh, bars to watch at that yeah. are FC supporters, um, Black Sheep, um, Haymaker on the east side. Oh, uh, that's right oh, by me. There you go. That's I mean, right places by where me. you can watch these games, uh, go show your support, be loud, get raucous uh, for away games, and then build up the energy for the home game. Yeah. And come back. So for me, it's, you know, it's kind of varied. I haven't figured that out, but I'll find a place. Um, any I, might pop, I might even pop in if people in the chat, you know, the places they like. I might even pop in one of these days. Any shout outs you want to toss to to the the boys in green and black? Um, let's I mean, see. We, it was it was a hard fought win. Hard yeah. fought win. I feel like we we need to do that. We For owe sure. it to them. Absolutely. Uh, shout outs. Well, I'll shout out. Um, shout out Andy Lochnane. I mm. saw him uh, last week. Um, he's the pres team president. He's literally before there was a green and black twinkle in Austin's eye. Before this team was really here, he was putting in the groundwork. He still does behind the scenes stuff, but he's become a public guy. A lot of pressure on him, um, a lot of you know uh, expectations of him as the as the president. But he's he's done it with class and grace, and um, he's a guy that um, we owe a lot to for getting the team here. Uh, he's a big part of that. So shout out to him. Uh, continued uh, success with him and the club. What about okay. you? You know what I mean, just. Being at the game, uh, gotta give a shout out to uh, Stu, to Stu. Brad Stuver. I yeah, that's mean, fair. just to like see that thing through, and obviously, you know, going to the games last yeah. season, and I'm I'm sit behind goal. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, shout out to him. I just think he's awesome. I follow we, we what gotta, he's into off the field too. I think he's a super. We great talked about player. that last week. He's done great things in the community. Yeah, uh, he and his wife they're really active, and then he's a great dude on the field, and he's earned his way. He was not given anything. He was third or fourth in the depth chart last year and won his job and has been a leader on this team. So I like that shout out, Stu. Um, yeah. we got fans in us. Who's that jersey today? Diego Fagundes. Ooh, shout out Fagundes. Fagundes. Heck yeah. Uh, again, one of the uh, OG here with Austin FC, finding himself a new role, coming in, making an impact. Um, so, yeah, we've got a lot of people to be thankful for. Most of all, we're thankful for you, the fans. Um, thank you for the engagement. Thank you for kind of getting back to us. Hit us up on socials. Follow us. Follow all the Austin FC Network shows. There's yeah. a lot here. We're going to continue to make more content for you guys to have. Get in-depth views with some players, people in the staff. Um, for us, Knuckleheads and Brittany are the you know the third leg of, of, of this uh, this tripod. And uh, we'll continue to make the show we'll better. have some fun. This guys, and uh, yeah, hit us up on our socials. Uh, I'm at Ali Khan Heat. You're uh, at M Newhouse 73. Please say hello. Yeah, um, and anything out. you guys feel like we should talk about and address. We love the feedback. That's the that's the strength of the show. Um, we're always we're we're a work in progress. This is uh, it's been fun so far though. You guys make it amazing. Uh, feedback in the in the chat and um, yeah. online. So yeah, please continue to do that. But uh, anything else you can think of? Ooh, you know what? Someone, yeah. I, I just I'm seeing some stuff pop in here. This is a great idea. Where should you watch the games when they're away? Yeah, the pitch. That's, That's true. Genius. We gotta we gotta shout out the pitch. The Ben's pitch, brick designs. Yeah, up here um, next to St. David's Performance Center, yeah. the pitch has got amazing restaurants, a bar area. I've field. been eyeing that burger. Yeah, the burger. That burger we had looks tacos a couple weeks ago. We at did Taco, Taco Flats. Flats. Really good you stuff. Can, there's space bring the kids. They can run around. Yeah, uh, that's a great idea. Appreciate yeah. it. who said that in that the chat. Ben's brick designs. Yeah, we I appreciate like that. it. Thank you for shouting out the pitch that's again. So many one. good places to to. to Support your team, Shoot, and I might, I we'll, might have uh, to come this Saturday. You should do it. I might do it. You might see the man we'll here. The you might see the man here. Yeah, come on, come yeah. on. Say Don't beat him me. up for his his terrible football t in Texas take, but show him some love for. There's a new day. Show. A new day is coming. He he literally Heed does not my understand words. what he said. He has Heed no my idea words. what he oh, said. Oh goodness gracious! Um, well, it's been a pleasure. It's, it's been good great. to be back, man. Absolutely. It's been a minute. It's Absolutely. Been a minute. Well, we're gonna do it again here in a couple weeks. Again, you can find us every other Tuesday. Um, on YouTube uh, at 1 o'clock Central. And uh, we're going to continue to make the show and, and do it better and talk to you guys. And we awesome. appreciate you. All anything else? We appreciate you. know, I just want, I'm just looking at the chat going, Dan, thank you, John Romero. It is a pleasure being here. Um, look, I, the team's going great, but the excitement, uh, especially after last Sunday, I think it's just as it, it's like it's like we're still it's like still like first crush yeah. you know what i mean yeah. first five dates yes. that's how it's feeling right well, now we're gonna keep the energy going uh and thanks to you guys so again we appreciate it it's been our show we'll be here in a couple weeks um i'm marshall this is ollie signing off appreciate you lisa's verde <laughs>